Let's go down to Rome's raw reel, weight room, laundry room, uh, furnace room, rant. It is. Uh, it, it feels like we've hit an inflection point on the season. And all the Vikings struggles, 0-3, beating themselves, turnovers, drops, all that stuff. 1-4, should have beat the Eagles, should have beat the Chiefs and all that stuff. It, it feels like the Niners game was a turning point. And I understand, oh, but the Niners had injuries and what if Brock Purdy had got concussed, whatever. Hey, hey, Vikings dealing with a couple injuries, uh, potentially... Uh, the best non-quarterback in the league without Justin Jefferson. Oh yeah, no, no big deal. But it, it feels like this team is finally hitting its stride. Like the defense is aggressive and opportunistic. The offensive line is really rounding into form. Big shout out offensive line coach Chris Cooper. Uh, and offensively, I mean, Kevin O'Connell, he may be becoming a better play caller without Justin Jefferson. And that's not an aspersion on JJ. Uh, I think it's more Kevin O'Connell sort of got comfortable just leaning on Justin Jefferson and having him be a hero but now without him he's got to scheme things up he's got to get guys open he's got to give Kirk uh you know the proper uh play calls and, and whatnot plus you, you saw Kirk Cousins audibling at the line like, like he's vintage Peyton Manning Omaha getting us on the right play let's go let's go and it feels like so remember the 2017 season where the Vikings had a very juicy eight game winning streak in the middle of the season it feels like the Vikings are at the start of that. So won two games in a row, and weeks uh, 8 through 14, the Vikings is very nice. It's very nice. And then uh, you're on the road in Cincy, and then two of the last three games are against the Lions. Woo -woo! That's right. So it, it, it feels like this team is playing fun, fast, uh, aggressive football again, and this team can hang and bang with anyone in the league. Like, who scares you in the NFC? Again, the Vikings should have beat the Eagles. Whatever. The Vikings did beat the Niners. The Vikings will take care of the Lions twice. All right. So, I mean, who, Falcons? No. Like, who scares you in the NFC? I can might be the Vikings. That's why they should be buyers at the trade deadline. Add some ass to the trenches, man. I'm talking about going all in for Justin Simmons. I'm talking about T.R. Tart of the Tennessee Titans if you can't get him. I'm talking about, hey, just go get Jonathan Allen. Don't care at this point, man, or Sertain or Jalen Johnson or whoever. Uh, beef up at the trade deadline and just really go for the pin. Because I, I think this this team has a chance to be special, uh, especially once they're getting their ish together, all their ducks in a row, plus JJ will be coming back at 100%, and this team could legitimately be a juggernaut. And again, that's what's been frustrating this entire season. You know, they're dropping the, those four games, three at home, a couple against quality opponents, but the Vikings didn't lose they beat themselves and uh, i i know some people read that as a joke but i actually believed it uh but now it's all coming together baby kirk cousins playing out of his mind hopefully they can get a little bit more explosive in the run game free cam makers free ty chandler and then go from there this has a chance to be a very dangerous team and a very special and fun season but uh that's it raw real rant let's go Woo! i'm really good at technology